Good morning, good people. It's another beautiful day that the Lord has given us to see. And today I have woken up in the famous Nandi County, the source of champion. And just before we get into the video, let me give you a brief of this county. It is actually one of the three counties in the Rift Valley of Kenya. This is where most of the athletes who have earned world records started running from. If you remember famous name of Kipchoge Keino, actually this is where he comes from, the Nandi Hills. You will also hear some names such as the City of Champions, that is actually Wasingishu County, and others call the home of champions, that is El Geo Maraquit. But where I am is the source of champions. So I was privileged to have some work in this county, specifically Kapsabit, which is the capital of Nandi County. It is such a beautiful place. It is actually a tourist attraction. It has good hotels. It has so many hills. And if you look around, there is so much vegetation trees, there's tea plantations, we have coffee, there's sugar. It's extremely fertile. And so we were training community health promoters inside this complex. This is the best gift any person can give back to the community. This is a very good gesture. This is the sort of housing that you will see. Not many storied ones, or is it because this is the area that I found myself in? But it's just a simple, normal county like any other in Kenya. The difference is there are so many trees and it has so many hills. And a lot of cash crops that have been grown. So as you head to this complex, you will find a target sports center, which is mainly for basketball. And you'll find many people playing at this spot just before you arrive at the Elite Kipchoge Sports Complex. And as you enter the gate, straight ahead, you will see two signboards. One is saying that it's a corruption free zone. And this is very important because it defines what a county's norms and our community's norms are. So this is a corruption-free zone. Then we have this vision, which says to be a global source of sports champions. Then it also has its mission, which states to identify, nurture, and develop, and also market sports people. So this is how the field looks like. You can see the morning practice. This was around nine actually. And these guys, some of them arrived even at five. So you'll see them on the track, busy practicing. The field is quite complex. As you can see from the far end, there are more runners. They also have coaches. It's actually a busy, busy place. Just that my camera could not uh, capture them on the far end but it's full of activity the place is quite well kept the grass is green it has been cut well and as you can see we have people running others are just doing it as a routine in preparation for a race then others are just coming in and immediately they come in, you can see, right from the gate, just get to the field, running, running. That is a lot of self-discipline, which I know most of us cannot manage. The discipline that is in this sport, wow. Not any that can be impacted on anybody, but it is self-driven. It is all sorts of people, young and old. Male, 
and female. After some times, we saw these young girls coming in, two of them just walking casually. But later on, wow, you will see them do their thing. Very young girls, but focused. They know they have a future. And then from here, we have the beautiful complex. Very large. Just look at the flowers. Very nice which you can view the sports area from here. It looks very nice. It's very big as well. I will not show you the inside, but it looks very nice inside, just the way it is outside. It was well thought of. So my camera was not stable at this point, and you can see it's shaking. Actually, it's not the camera, but I was walking. So the camera is not very stable, but I hope you can be able to see this beautiful, beautiful sight. And as we draw nearer, you can see it written, the source of champions. But at the top, at the tip, notice that has been written at the top, Eliud Kipchoge Sports Complex. You can see the lawns they are really made very well and at the top here is the man who, our kenyan pride signature his signature and there he is in motion just beside it is the field and we were allowed to go there so as i was positioning myself the runners passed by very nice there are places where you can also sit and bask in the sun and that's what I did for some time as I waited for my meeting to start. I actually watched these great people in the land of Nandi practicing and doing their sport with all the dedication. I really enjoyed it. Congratulations to this team. So you can see that is the field. That's how it looks. It's really big all the way and they are making several laps several laps others are doing exercise it's a host of activity here some do not even have a coach they are doing it themselves in groups in pairs they are timing themselves just look at them very nice Actually, I've really changed my attitude towards uh, sports. I thought it's something that someone is born with. It is actually not something that you are born with. You have to put in the practice. You must put in the sacrifice. The discipline, waking up early. You have to be on a diet. And most of them are really petite. I actually read somewhere the weight of uh, Eliud was around 53 some time back you know keeping or maintaining such a body you have to really work on it and then as i was positioning myself again there they are just look at them look at that who does that look at them look at the ones coming from behind wow look at them as if it's one leg passing very nice i really admire these guys so that's it for today thank you for watching and uh, please subscribe i'll see you in the next video thank you